wrestling with yes, indeed. the Indie Minute. Well, since we mentioned it in that little contest, let's start things off with the stuff going on uh, this weekend for the International Wrestling Cartel. Stuff the Sorgatron Media will be involved with, mm-hmm. and that's IWC's first ever retro reunion on that's October right. 19th in Elizabeth, Pennsylvania. Uh, Sorg, what's on what's on tap for that one? What are you excited about uh, going into that uh, retro reunion show? Apparently, a lot of old faces are going to be popping up here. Uh, I know you don't see any right away there, but one of the big ones is Egotistico Fantastico is going to be taking on our friend of the show, Facade. Uh, another friend of the show, Bobby Shields, uh, that we talked to a while ago, is going to be returning as well. RJ City is going to be there as well. Um, Antonio Thomas, one of the heartthrobs, the former, I think they were the heartbreakers in WWE, weren't they? Uh, I think it was hard. No, I think it was hard. Other way around. There, it's a heartbreakers in the in the Indies. I think. Um, So, um, that I don't think that's. I think I heard that he is actually injured, so that will not be going down as advertised. Uh, In the meantime, we got McChesney and Castle are going to have mystery partners. It's supposed to be from IWC's past. We got Team Big League versus Arrow Form. We haven't seen them for a while. Big fan of those guys out on the Indies. Uh, You talked about this a couple weeks ago. Uh, Uh, War is taking on Pete Dunn and Mark Andrews, a couple guys from Britain. It's going to be very very exciting. I uh, can't wait to see that. Bobby Fish is going to be on there with friend of the show, Andrew Palace. Uh, so I think it's going to be a really, really cool show uh, as far as that. Uh, I, I, it's definitely going to be more for us local IWC fans because I think there's some faces. I have a feeling there's going to be faces that are going to pop up that are going to be like to IWC fans. It's going to be really interesting. Um, I don't know. I, you know, who knows? You know, we could get. Uh, I know. Actually, I do know. I, one side announcement. Uh, guy, I know you're a big fan of. Uh, why is he? Mike uh, Mike Elgin is actually returning for Combat in Clearfield next month, so I'm going to get to nice, see that. Nice, very cool. So, um, um, so you never know, like a face like that could pop up, like one of those R- ROH faces or, or something like that, you know. Oh, no, maybe we'll get delirious or something. Who knows? <laughs> uh, so <laughs> it, it should be a fun show. It should be. I, I like they're kind of mixing things up. They had the Proving Grounds, they had the Friday Night Fights. It's not just another, you know show that's named the same thing it was last year because well it's october you know um mm. that's not a slight to anybody <laughs> i just yeah. realized that the one other company completely take that every that. indie wrestling yeah, company. take that every indie wrestling company um so but no no but but i do like i do like they're mixing it up uh, uh pretty good there so awesome, you can man. check them out over at iwcwrestling.com. And I got something else, but I want to come back to it. So I want to hear about uh, – well, I got two things. But I want to hear about your thing now, Eamon. There is other stuff going on in the indie wrestling world. And now I'm going to talk about – I've got a big weekend ahead. Some cool indie wrestling shows are going down all across Texas, and I'm very excited for this. Uh, October 18th and October 19th uh, in Houston on the 18th, San Antonio on the 19th. The NWA is holding uh, big super shows with New Japan Pro Wrestling, uh, and I'm very excited to be uh, attending those both of those events. Uh, you've got a lot of the mainstay NWA stars, uh, your Rob Conways, a lot of your local Texas stars, and a lot of the stars from New Japan Pro Wrestling. Jushin Thunder Liger will be there, uh, Hiro- Hiroshi Tenzan, Gato, uh, Takai Watanabe, tons of great talent. I'm very excited to uh, be attending that event. It looks, and not only we're getting the Texas stars, we're getting a lot of stars from all across the NWA, some from the Midwest, some from uh, parts, even I know uh, Ray Rowe, friend of the show, is taking on uh, Lou Marconi, who's a big part in the Pittsburgh area. Mm hmm. Uh, so that should be very interesting uh, on the uh, October 18th for NWA Houston. And then the, the New Japan Stars are also coming over October 19th in San Antonio, Texas for NWA Branded Outlaw Wrestling. So those are going to be two really fun events uh, that I will be attending. You can check it out. I believe NWAHouston.com is where you can get tickets for the uh, Houston show. I'm not sure about the BOW show uh, in San Antonio on the 19th. But, uh, yeah, go check that out. Uh, it's going to be awesome stuff it's it, exciting to get are, to witness those talents that really unless i lived in japan i wouldn't have gotten a chance mm-hmm. to see so mm-hmm. and, uh, and, that's very very cool and to kind of go with uh, what we talked about last week are these going to be do you know if these are going to be shot for video or are these companies that usually do that possibly i know uh houston when they had a big uh they had their parade of champions like super show back in april they released that actually on dvd um, so I'm hoping they're going to do the same for the Houston show. Um, I'm not sure if they're doing it for uh, NWA BOW, though. Um, but the Houston show look, has a really great lineup. So um, 
I'm very excited. Hopefully, more people than just the people in the Texas area go to uh, see that. So that will be really cool. Uh, so hopefully I'll see you at there. Uh, if I don't see you there, the Sunday uh, is Anarchy Championship Wrestling's Beyond Good and Evil event, October 20th, uh, at the Mohawk in Austin, Texas. It's their Halloween show, so costumes are encouraged. Nice. Uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a very fun show. The main event, a double title match for the Heavyweight Championship and the World Hardcore Championship. Evan, Evangelistico takes on Matthew Palmer. There's also going to be uh, ACH taking on Davey Vega and what's sure to be a barn burner yeah. uh, from the show gary jay's gonna be there uh tons of really cool stuff yes hey, mike I, I have a quick question for you i don't mean to interrupt um what are you dressing as um i'm not sure last time i went to this show i didn't really dress up and because uh, i'm not that big of a creative as far as wrestling costumes i've heard i've heard uh some interesting uh stuff that may be there so. okay if you have suggestions for Eamon to dress up for inspired show for Anarchy, Anarchy Championship Wrestling. No, uh, sorry. Anarchy, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but if you have if you have suggestions for, for what Eamon should dress up as, I know good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Or sure, at Mayhem Show if you'd like. At, absolutely. Uh, so you can uh, get tickets at AnarchyChampionshipWrestling.com. And I hope to see you at any of those three events this weekend because that will be fun times. Uh, there are tons of other Indian wrestling events going on all over the United States. You are kidding about like, everything. There's a lot. Um, and these are really a lot of the big ones. Um, so there's got to be more, even more than this. Uh, our good friends at Prime Wrestling are holding uh, their big Resolution 6 event uh, this uh, October 20th in Parma, Ohio. I know they usually hold it at the, um, the Nautica. I don't think they're holding it there this year. They're holding um, uh, some complex. Uh, but I went to Resolution 4 two years ago, and it was a really mm -hmm. fun time. Prime Wrestling delivers a really good product. Uh, some of the matches, Johnny Gargano taking on Paul London in what should be a very killer matchup. And old Rhino taking on Crimson. Uh, there's going to be a tons of really cool stuff. A lot of uh, talent from the Ohio area, Ohio area. A lot of friends of the Wrestling Mayhem show. And it uh, looks like a really good show. So I believe it's primewrestling.com where you can yes. go uh, get information for that. And it uh, is so also, if you are in, uh, sorry, it's also available on uh, iPay-Per-View. Information's uh, there as well if you want to check that out. Very so, cool. Always good stuff. Always a great show with Prime Wrestling. Uh, of course, friend of the show, uh, Joe Dobrowski, heavily involved with that and the build-up for this, helping that out. Zach Gowan's a part of the show. Matt Cross, Matthew Justice, um, and, and, of course, everybody that uh, Eamon mentioned. Always a really good one. I should be in attendance uh, awesome. from the sounds of it. Uh, so I, I don't know in what total capacity I'll be there, uh, but the word is I'm, I'm going to be around. So, mm -hmm. Very cool. Uh, also, if you're not in the Ohio area, if you're on the other side of the U.S. in California, PWG Pro Wrestling Guerrilla has their next event October 19th in Reseda, California, uh, entitled Matt Rushmore. Uh, it should be a very interesting show. Uh, Adam Cole, the PWG champion, uh, is taking on the winner of the Battle of Los Angeles this year and his former tag team partner, Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, also, tag team titles on the line as the Young Bucks take on Joey Ryan and Candice LeRae. Uh, Kevin Steen, another member of the uh, newly formed Mount Rushmore stable, uh, will be taking on ACH. Uh, and there's like a lot of great talent uh, all across the United States convening. PWG has a super strong roster. Um, so, yeah, if you're in the uh, California area, uh, go check out Pro Wrestling Guerrilla. That's a you big can area. <laughs> I'm sorry? That is a big area. <laughs> it's a big area, but I got to say, Pro Pro Wrestling Guerrilla is legit worth it. They are probably one of my favorite companies of 2013. And I understand Leg Kick TKO is going to be in attendance there as well. Yes, I, I heard about that. So go visit Leg Kick and uh, and uh, tell her hi and tell the Wrestling Mayhem show sent you. In the four uh, corners, if there's a wrestling show, there might be a chance there's a Mayhemmer there. Like, this is how widespread this is getting right now. Uh, yes. We got her out in California. You got you covering Texas. I might be over in Ohio. I will be in Pittsburgh. I'll be in Clearfield next month. Uh, we, we're well traveled. Uh, so mm -hmm. the chance of running into a Mayhemmer or a Mayhem fan, let us know. Actually, and also, I know you got more, but if you are going to be at any of these shows and be say, hey, I'm a Mayhem fan, give me a shout out. Look for me. I'll be the one when the pink uh hardcore wrestling unicorn t-shirt like riz uh, uh let us know and we'll we'll throw that shout out too awesome definitely 
Uh, more events are happening this weekend. Uh, if you're in the Midwest area, uh, in Lafayette, Indiana, Wrestling is Heart is holding their event on October 19th. Uh, looks like a really great show. The main event is a very interesting contest. Uh, Eddie Kingston going one-on-one with Heidi Loveless. Uh, people may remember Heidi Loveless as sort of a breakout star from National Pro Wrestling Day, and she's taking on a pretty hard hitter and sort of a mismatch in Eddie Kingston. It should be a very intense matchup. Um, I'm excited to see uh, how that goes. There's got a lot of great Midwest talent uh, competing for Wrestling Is Heart, mixed with some of the guys you see from the Wrestling Is promotions. So you get a lot of the Midwest talent. Then you get, you know, Stony and Thunderfrog thrown in there, and uh, Juan Francisco <laughs> de Coronado, and and it's always fun times. Uh, so I believe that's uh, WrestlingIsHeart.com. Uh, also, if you're planning on going to the Wrestling Is Cool event the next weekend in uh, New Jersey, that show is actually canceled. Uh, so just a heads up on that. Uh, if you are planning on going to that, don't show up because there won't be any wrestling there. Um, but no, go check out uh, your wrestling is stuff. Keep updated with all that stuff. Uh, also this weekend, because there's more wrestling, uh, Shimmer is holding uh, their uh, uh, DVD tapings uh, for volumes 58 through 61 in Berwyn, Illinois, on October 19th and October 20th. Uh, that is going to be, you know, Shimmer as a big, you know, two day weekend of professional wrestling every, you know, couple of months. And it's really great stuff. They convene with a lot of talent, the best women's wrestling talent in the U S uh, and tons of talent that they bring in from Japan, like a Yako Hamada, Kana, uh, Hikaru Shida, who they're bringing in for the first time, tons of great stars, uh, that, you know, you'll have the first opportunity to see in Shimmer. Uh, so like I mentioned, that's in Berwyn, Illinois at the Berwyn Eagles club. October 19th and 20th. Uh, looks like a really stacked card. Uh, so go check out uh, Shimmer Wrestling uh, if you want your women's wrestling fix. Woo! Holy yes. crap. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and there was stuff. We're going to briefly talk about stuff that happened this weekend. Uh, for the stuff that happened uh, for, with people involving the Mayhem show. The first being uh, the Inspire Pro Wrestling event that was this past weekend. Uh, the Quick and the Dead. I was a part of it doing commentary once again. Phenomenal show. I was really, really happy with, like, t- we had a great turnout. Uh, a lot of the matches were really show stealers. Uh, a lot of, especially uh, the second half of the show, I thought really, like, any of those matches could have, you know, gone in as a main event, and it was really phenomenal. Uh, some of the highlights was uh, uh, JT Lamada in what is quite possibly his final appearance of professional wrestling in an absolute war against uh, Andy Dalton in a street fight. It was probably one of the most intense matches I've seen live. Uh, really great stuff. Uh, and then uh, the Texas return of Robert Evans, uh, who you may remember as a guy who looks similar to R.D. Evans in Ring of Honor or to that Archibald Peck guy in Shakara, uh, having a phenomenal contest with Jojo Bravo. Um, I said it on Twitter, Robert Evans is probably the best professional wrestler of our generation. And I don't, I'm not saying that just cause he was a local guy. He is one of the best actors in professional wrestling. Uh, he knows how to just illustrate whatever's going on in the ring. And he's seriously phenomenal. And it was great to, uh, to call that matchup. Uh, our next event, hopefully we'll be able to announce a date for that soon, but we do know the main event, and it is to crown the first ever Inspire Pro Grand Champion, and that's going to be Davey Vega versus One Man Mike Dell versus Jordan Jensen, uh, and that's going to be a fun time. So if you want to keep up with us and get more information on our next event, as well as uh, more stuff going on with us, go to InspireProWrestling.com, Twitter at InspireProRes, Facebook Inspire Pro Wrestling. Go follow us. Go uh, see what we're doing uh, in the Texas area. And finally, something <laughs> also big happened for the Sorgatron Media Network this weekend, and that was RWA, uh, Bloody Harvest 5? Five? Five, Five, yes, yes. Uh, you know, and this is, um, um, we're not going to speak on uh, necessarily the TLC match, which was absolutely crazy, uh, a really crazy ending, but you'll see uh, footage that actually you can go check that out over at RWA. Let's see if they posted it yet. Um, not yet. You will see that shortly, but you, well, no, it is there. That's quick work wheels. Um, the Thank RWA wrap-up is over at uh, rwalive.com, including a little bit of uh, commentary and some footage uh, from some of the aftermath there. Uh, and, of course, you'll have the, t- the tra- trailer for that uh, running on the show next week here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Um, but something more epic happened, something that involves DJ Lunchbox. I think you'll yes. be very interested in this. Are you ready for this, sir? 
So, so long time. I can barely contain myself. You also your volume is also barely up to, and Wheels is with us as well. Yes, I am. So, uh, I, I just figured um, now. Now, Dan Sandwich is somebody that's that's wrestled now twice with you guys. And, yes. And you know, I, you've listened to the DVDs. Uh, our, oh yes, I have. Uh, Ring Rev Church on the Twitter is uh, the, uh, the, the, the what, what does he call himself? The Wrestling Reverend, something like that. Uh, he has a fun with uh, your favorite person, Dan Sandwich, uh, LB. And I know I wanted you to, to experience this, so I made a Dan Sandwich supercut for you. Pop yes, Fox. I love Dan Sandwich. So 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 here we go with this. If I can hit the thing. <laughs> and then notice who he he fight he. Hey, he ham on rise back. His name is Dan Sandwich. Ham Sandwich. Dan Sandwich. Ham on rise. Side of mayo. Sean. So he's, I don't know if I want to go with Chevrolet or if I want to go with uh, Chip Beef. The River Dirt here in West Newton does not like Dave's Hot and Juicy up there. Kilbossy with sauerkraut's just standing there. He ain't moving. <laughs> it's move for move between Pinto and Po' Boy. <laughs> so you get an idea. <laughs> so this is what I have going on in one ear. While I have Chachi in the other ear at ringside giving his own version of this. <laughs> as soon as we figure Dan Sandwich is facing Hybrid Car, because his name's Hybrid, I'm already flip flipping out because I'm pissed that everybody used the name Hybrid in freaking uh, indie wrestling. Uh, you have an idea. It, it's a new super kick. LB? I feel it's a huge missed opportunity that at no point he called him Dan Manwich. <laughs> 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 so I just wanted to bring a little bit of the show to you. Uh, the part I know, I knew you would appreciate there, there, sir. Thank you. I mean, you. Uh, I, so I my love for Dan Sandwich is is varied and and girthy. <laughs> okay, uh, what was that, Wheels? Oh, what I was going to say is, as soon as you and I found out Dan Sandwich was going to be on the show. First thing we did, we made sure that DJ LB knew he'd be there. Yes, I I, I, I took a picture of my sheet and that, the, that part of my sheet and actually sent it to him, <laughs> just so he knew it was coming. So I, I, it was, yeah, it was it was it was a special night as far as that goes. Sorry, this, a little bit of an inside joke. This is something we heard about what when we first talked to Jimmy Demarco here on the show years ago. Does that sound about right? I think so. Yeah, he said Dan Sandwich, and and my ears my ears rang, and my eyes lit up, and I immediately had an erection. I said, "That's the greatest name any wrestler has ever had in the history of the world." And I'm pretty sure this is the guy that. that no, I won't get that on there. Um, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's an off air. That's for gold. Um, but yeah, so I, I thought you'd enjoy the Dan Sandwich super mix. I should should have put the techno music. Oh yeah. Uh. There you go. Um, Eamon, thanks a lot for letting me indulge right there with LB. Uh, no you, you got anything else there, or is that the minute? That is all I have this week on the Indie Minute. Fantastic. So if you want to support the show, guys, I, we got a multi. We are all about the multiple media medias here on the show, right? Multiple media.